Welcome to another show, I'm Sid, and in today's video I'll be showing you how you can create this disco lights effect using the color cycles patch, duotone shader, and a couple of other bits. I've also got this pulsing in and out effect, which is done with loop animations, and I've added an Instagram music setup so people can add their own music when they use the filter, and it will play along with the effect that you're seeing right now. Pretty simple, not too complex, so don't forget to like, subscribe. If you find this useful, leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of the video, and we'll just jump straight into it. Okay, so here we are in a new project. First thing I need is a couple of patches, so we're gonna head to the library. Under patch assets, we want the color cycles patch, so I'll import that. I also want the duotone shader patch, so I'm gonna grab that one as well. And finally, the adjust colors patch. So let's make sure we have all of those imported into our assets panel. And now we're gonna add a rectangle to our scene. So right click, add a rectangle. That will appear nested inside of this canvas. Fill the width and then fill the height and add a material for that. Next, we're gonna head up here to the camera and hit this plus button for a texture extraction of our camera texture, which will appear down here in the assets panel. Now I'm gonna drag that inside of our patch editor along with all three of the patches that we've just imported. So now we have our adjust colors, our duotone and our color cycles patch. Now you wanna take your adjust color shader and connect from the RGBA output of our camera texture to the texture input here. And now we're gonna take the output from our adjust colors and connect that to the texture input of our duotone shader. And finally, we're gonna take the color cycles output and connect that to the color B input of our duotone shader patch. So now we have all of this linked up and now we need the material for our texture. So I'm gonna grab that as a patch and get that connected up to the output of our duotone shader. It's a little bit flashy. I'm gonna slow that down here in the color cycles patch by changing the duration to 7.5, only while I'm making the effect so it's not like constantly blasting in your face. And I'm also gonna change color A here from purple to black, just so that it's the most basic version of the effect that you can get. The darker color should be on top so that all of this uh, rainbow effect happening underneath isn't too highly contrasted. Because if, for example, I switch this over to white, then you'll see it becomes basically a negative version of itself. Uh, we don't want that right now. You can play around with the colors. You could plug the color cycles patch into color A instead and then have a lighter color on the bottom. Just uh, mess around with it, see what you like. And once you're happy with the result, we'll move on. Next, I'm gonna plug a loop animation into our adjust colors. So I'm gonna drag this loop animation here and create a transition, oh, which always flies way off the screen. We're gonna change that from a vector three to a number. And then I'm gonna plug that in here to the lightness value of our adjust color shader patch. And the start value here is set as zero and the end value is one. So the lightness uh, range is constantly fluctuating between zero and one. You can see that happening here. Again, you can change the uh, duration of this for the purposes of creating it, I'm gonna slow it down to 7.5 seconds and we'll adjust all these numbers at the end and it will give you more of that disco vibe that I was showing off at the start. Now we're gonna take another loop animation, so create another one and drag out from here to a second transition, which again flies 400 miles away from where it's supposed to be. This one's gonna be a vector two, so change that to a vector two and then we're gonna drag out from here and create a 2D transform pack. And we're gonna drag this output here from transform down to scale because we're gonna be adjusting the size of the screen, like the amount of zoom that we're seeing essentially. Now I'm gonna drag out from the 2D transform and create a texture transform. And I'm gonna drag that down here to the transform packs, otherwise it's broken. And what we're gonna do now is move this out of the way. And I'm gonna plug the duotone shader into the texture input here. And then this output goes into the material texture and you'll see the effect happening pretty swiftly. It's a little bit nuts. So we're actually gonna come into the 2D transform pack here and adjust these pivot points from zero, which is the top left corner, to 0.5 and 0.5, so on the X and Y, that way it's more central. Next, I'm gonna mirror this loop animation, so check this box here, and that way it will bounce in and then bounce back out, rather than like having that jarring in, 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 like constantly starting the loop over again. And now I'm gonna change a few values in our transition because by default it starts at zero on the X and Y, which is why it goes from nothing to a full size person. So if we change the start value here to one and one on the X and Y, then nothing's happening. And we're back to just a basic camera effect. Uh, that's because we need to change our end values. So if we increase those to around, I don't know, 1.5 and 1.5, then you'll get this nice pulsing in and out effect where it goes from just being regular size to being slightly larger, and it gives that illusion of zooming, which I think is pretty sweet. Now we can change those values that I set before at 7.5, we'll bring that back down to one, so the color change is much faster, and the loop animation here that's connected to our lightness value, I'm gonna bring that back down to one as well. 
and now you get a much faster flashing change of colors, which is more reminiscent of a disco effect. And the final thing I'm gonna show you is to add the Instagram music. So if you double tap and add the Instagram music patch, you will see that it's unsupported by Facebook. So you have to click this edit platforms option and uncheck Facebook here, hit done. And now we can add it in again without that error appearing. And from the output here, the audio output, we're gonna connect an energy meter, sit that there. And we're gonna add an object to our scene, that object being a speaker. Just drag it underneath the microphone and create a patch for the audio, which is here. You can also manually set your audio if you wanted to drag something in. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be Instagram music. You could define the audio that plays during the effect. I have a few other videos about audio on Instagram, so feel free to check those out if you wanna know more. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna create a patch for this and connect from the audio output here to the audio input of our speaker. So now when you open this filter up on a mobile device, as you can see in the preview uh, on screen now, then there's an option in the top to select from your Instagram music library and have that song play throughout the filter. I'm also just gonna check random start here so that the color automatically starts uh, at a different point every time you begin the effect over. And now if I switch over to the FaceTime camera, then you'll be able to see me. That little uh, fuzzy thing we had around the edge when it was the other guy, you probably see it here. It looks a bit like screen tearing. That disappears when you switch over to the FaceTime camera. But yeah, that is pretty much the entire effect. I will switch it around again so you can get a, a bit of a clearer perspective. We'll pop this out so it's not double flashing in your face. I'll make this larger so it covers the other one. And there it is. Disco, disco, baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you found this video useful. I'm gonna zoom out, show you all the patches, uh, maybe organize it a little bit. Give me one second. Okay, so here we go. We basically just set up one rectangle here and connected the adjust color shader patch through our camera texture with the color cycles patch going into the second input of our duotone shader. So it's combining all of these effects together. We're looping the size and scale with a texture transform 2D transform pack and the texture that's being applied is everything we've set up using these patches. That's all being pumped through to our texture output, which is what you're seeing on screen now. And it's how I created this effect. I've also added the Instagram music setup uh, with a speaker. So if you want, you can add your own audio inside of Instagram uh, when you upload a filter or when you record one on your phone. Pretty simple effect. Hopefully you found something here useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, comment below what you thought, what you wanna see next. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.